Okay, two, so 10 more mistakes, guys. As always, if you want to, ooh, made a mistake here. if you want to join the whole course so that you watch all the lesson from start until finish, yeah, so right away from one to 13, then please come to my website, skype-lessons.com. And if you write, if you're honest and you write I hyphen make hyphen mistakes, you can buy the course for seven pounds. That's the cheap discount code on my website. If you put that in where it says have a coupon, it says it on the right, when you go to buy the course, write that in, I hyphen make hyphen mistakes, and it will only cost seven pounds, okay? And that's a little, all of these letters are little letters, and that is a hyphen, that's the short dash, yeah? Okay, so common tense mistakes. Yeah, all of these I have heard in the past week or two. Number one, we, I think we have done this before, but just to remind you, because people keep making this mistake, swear is irregular. It's he swore he would call, yeah, like this, swore. That's how we write it, he swore he would call. Okay, so please remember swear is irregular, as is split. And split is like cost, 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 put, 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 cut, cut, cut. When it's a one syllable word, syllable, sorry, when it's a one syllable word and it ends in a T, yeah, hit, um, I can't think of any other one syllable infinitives, but split is another one, yeah? Hit, split, um, cost is another one. And cast is another one, like broadcast, yeah? All of these words are, well, I mean, cast, when it's on its own, is a one syllable word, and they all end in a T. Notice it's hit, 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 split, 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 cost, 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 broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. And that's why we say they split up last month. Even though it's past tense, we don't have an id on the end. We don't. It's just they split up last month. And don't forget, put is the same, cut is the same, um, can't think of any others. Uh, um, set is the same. Yeah, I can't think. Look, that's a one syllable word ending in a T and so are these. So one syllable words ending in T, please be aware that quite often the free forms are exactly the same. Okay, number three, it will be showed in cinemas next year. Now this is good passive. The student used something which, um, I think it was the same student, forgot, oh no, it was a different student, forgot to use in number eight. Yeah, there's something missing here, isn't there? And you can see it here. It will be, and then I'm, I'm afraid, show, um, show, showed, shown. Yeah, uh, in British English anyway, we use shown here. Um, it will be shown in cinemas next year. So show, yeah, showed in the past tense, but shown in present perfect and passive forms. Yeah, show, showed, shown, okay? Okay, number four. It rained the whole time the film was making. And this is active and it's past continuous. And I've noticed that students, they know how to do present and past simple in passive. They know how to do present perfect in passive and past perfect. But the continuous ones are very often a bit more of a mystery. And I'm glad to say it's easier than you think, guys. You need three words for passive, for passive past continuous, and you just need to add a being in the middle. Was being, oh, and sorry, <laughs> made, a third form, was being made. And guess what?